The purpose of vaccinating dogs is to help protect them from serious diseases. Every pet owner should remain aware of his animal's immune system. Potentially fatal diseases infect unvaccinated pets, which results in ill health and even death of the pet. Vaccines protect pets from such deadly consequences. All pets can get core vaccines. Vaccine serves to stimulate the immune system that forms antibodies. These antibodies stimulate different life mechanisms and kill pathogens. Here are some common questions and answers about dog vaccinations. Do pet vaccinations really work? Yes, vaccinations are an important part of protecting your pet's health. Vaccinations prevent diseases by preparing your dog's immune system to fight off serious diseases. By getting your dog vaccinated, you protect him from infectious diseases prevalent in the dog's community. Unfortunately, unvaccinated pets remain susceptible to many pet illnesses. However, it is important to note that no vaccine is 100% effective. Several factors can affect a vaccine's effectiveness, such as your dog's age, health, and lifestyle. Do vaccinations prevent Lyme disease? Vaccinations play a very important role in protecting dogs from infectious diseases. While all dogs should receive some basic vaccinations, depending on your dog's lifestyle and environment, he may also require additional vaccinations. This is a serious illness that can be contracted by dogs who are bitten by infected ticks. This can cause a number of symptoms, including fever, lameness, and loss of appetite. If left untreated, Lyme disease can be fatal. Unfortunately, there is currently no vaccine available for Lyme disease, but there are a number of steps you can take to help protect your dog from this potentially deadly illness. Do vaccinations affect a pet's lifestyle? Although all dogs should receive so many vaccines, depending on your dog's lifestyle and environment, he may also require additional vaccinations. One of the most important reasons to vaccinate your dog is to help protect him from other diseases. The veterinary team carefully considers the pet's body build, how pets respond to the vaccine, immune response, and possible risk factors before making a vaccination schedule. At a very early age, puppies receive immunity in the form of antibodies from mother's milk. Do puppies and kittens need to be vaccinated? Yes, puppies and kittens need to be vaccinated in order to help protect them from serious diseases. Puppies and kittens should receive a series of vaccinations starting at around 6 to 8 weeks of age. Generally, kittens receive passive immunity. When the immune system encounters an infectious agent, already present antibodies neutralize that agent. After they have received the initial series of vaccinations, they will need booster shots every 3 to 4 weeks until they are 16 weeks of age. After that, adult cats and dogs will need to be vaccinated on a yearly basis. How often do adult dogs need to be vaccinated? Adult dogs should be vaccinated on a yearly basis, once in 3 years. However, suppose your dog frequently comes into contact with other dogs or is often exposed to areas where there may be a higher risk of contracting diseases. In that case, your veterinarian may recommend more frequent vaccinations. On the other hand, puppies require a series of vaccinations to build up their immunity. What if my puppy hasn't been vaccinated? If your puppy has not yet been vaccinated, it is important to get him vaccinated as soon as possible. This is especially important if your puppy is around other pets, as he may be exposed to diseases they are carrying. In such situations, seek veterinary care immediately. Plan regular vaccines for your pup to develop an active immune response in him and avoid costly treatments for later in life. Do dogs need two or three vaccines? Dogs need two vaccines, boosters for distemper and canine parvovirus every three years and boosters for leptospirosis and kennel cough every year. Vaccination is one of the most important things you can do to protect household pets, and it's important to keep up with their booster shots to make sure they stay healthy. Talk to your vet about medical treatment, including which vaccines are right for your dog. Some dogs are given combination vaccine while other dogs get the intranasal vaccine, all depends on vaccine recommendations by the vet. What is feline leukemia, and does it affect dogs? Feline leukemia is a virus that affects cats. This leads to persistent diarrhea, itchy skin, and other respiratory signs in the cats. The virus can't be passed to dogs, but it can make them sick if they're exposed to it. However, some vaccines can help protect cats from the virus. Is it too late to vaccinate my dog? It's never late to vaccinate your dog. No matter how old your furry friend is, it's always a good idea to make sure they're up to date on their shots. Puppies need to be vaccinated more frequently than adult dogs. They should typically receive a series of shots starting at around 6 to 8 weeks, then again at 12 and 16 weeks. After that, 
they'll need booster shots every one to three years, depending on the vaccine. Second, some vaccines require multiple doses in order for them to be effective. For example, the rabies vaccine usually requires two doses given three to four weeks apart. What happens if you miss your dog's booster? If you miss your dog's booster, they may not be as protected from disease as they could be. Booster shots help maintain your dog's immunity to certain diseases, so if you skip them, your furry friend may be more susceptible to illness.